This is day one at the camp. We called it Camp Fuego. It's sort of a play on words. Fuego means fire in Spanish. So it's like campfire, like campfire girls, or have a campfire. But I wanted to show you this setup, what we did as soon as we got there, and all the exercise that you get as a nomad, sitting up camp, moving rocks is what I'm doing right now. And why, why am I just moving rocks? I just got there. Well, I just sat in my van driving for two hours. I want to get my legs and my arms moving a little bit. So I thought I would just start collecting some rocks and getting our campfire going pretty good. Make it look nice. There was already one established, but I wanted to build it up a little bit. And Paul's getting his rug set up, as he always does. He has an RV rug. And he's going to set up his table. Abby's out getting some exercise, thank goodness. We're not in the city anymore. We're just out in Quartzsite on BLM land. And it feels good to be out here. Oh, yeah. It feels really good. But I want you to stay tuned all the way to the end. I'm going to show you some more exercises that I do. And just a little bit of rock art. So there's other things up ahead. So don't go away. We've got a really good show for you. These are motion activated lights, which also have a dirty <laughs> solar panel. And I'm charging them up on the side of my van. Every night I put one of these on the front, on the back, on the left side of my van and on the right side. And a number of times I've caught a critter of some kind walking by, the light comes on and they're, uh, I forgot to mention, it, they do not come with these domino size magnets. I attach these myself and I put a piece of Gorilla Tape on the back of it so that it won't scratch my vehicle. Since we are in the desert and the sun is shining brightly, I'm going to take advantage of that and put up this X-Star solar panel and charge one of my solar banks, probably one of the Blue Eddies. This is one of my two Blue Eddy 500 watt solar power banks 
and I'm going to, it's down to one bar, so I'm going to plug this in and let the sun charge it up for me today. Now I'm going to go ahead and start getting things set up. My basic thing is putting out tarps. I don't carry RV rugs, but I can carry lighter weight tarps and I can fold them up easily. That way it's sort of like a little rug on the outside of my doors. I put one on each side of my minivan and then I put a tarp on the back so I can pull things out of my back area easily find things and I don't have to just set things on the ground now the blue one is a very cheap tarp I think that was only like five dollars and I just bought it when I was in Phoenix a lot of times after I boondock for a while and I'm going back to city life I get rid of most of them I like to keep one really heavy duty gray tarp with me at all times by this time, though, it's going to be really dusty, so I put it in a bag and put it way at the bottom. Yeah, i got to go through things, and I've got to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> i got to pull things out to find things. And I have to go really deep, like I said. That heavy gray tarp is way at the bottom. I don't have the room that some of the vans have. So the wind is blowing a little bit, and then Paul's going to come to my rescue and help me get this gray tarp down. What I do is I use stakes so that it doesn't fly up. Now my back tarp, I use rocks to hold it down. That way I can move it around easily. But this is my main heavy duty tarp. They can run about $30 for a nice, large, heavy duty gray tarp. Now the second day we did put up the tent and we filmed that and it turned out to be hilarious but here's paul he's editing our podcast we did it the night before this is the third day the tent is up and this is how we're using it well this is how paul's using it for today he used to just sit in his van and do it but here's a better place he has better views Tomorrow, the open it opens up the station. Yeah. See with this, I mean, I'm already up to here, and that's just a few days. So today's hair day. I'm gonna trim and then Paul. Good morning. Little trim. Little trim gonna go. We're gonna take care. We're gonna do some trimming, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I need trimming on the top. <laughs> Very cool. I know. Man. My bag. I've been using the um hefty. They're strong and they're citrus to take care of any odor. And they work pretty good. Yeah. Did you get these too? I got the same thing. Is it working? Yes, it is. Okay, hefty, um, odor-free citrus. They have other flavors too. But... <laughs> flavors? <laughs> I know, I know. Huh. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, still getting organized. It's hard to come out early in the morning because, I mean, it's dark. And there are a lot of coyotes walking around here. Not that I'm scared of a coyote, but, you know. I'd like to be able to see them. Maybe I am. <laughs> okay, so let's go look at the tent over let's there. Check it out. We had to take the awning down yesterday because the wind started blowing hard. So this is the tent. We had a hole in the mattress, so I took all the air out and just, I've been doing my exercising on here. It still gives me a good base and we've got another mattress ordered. I've been keeping one of my jackeries in here. Some water. And we've got this tarp down. Um, they all, they, offer a good flooring for your tent but it was like a hundred dollars and we just thought well we'll get a heavy duty tarp gray tarp and it'll take care of it when abby comes in with her claws and she's walking across got a little table in here it's been it's pretty cold like i'm gonna have to get my gloves and get going for the day, get walking, and I'm gonna take Abby for a walk. Here. Oh. Okay. She's got a 50 foot leash now, huh? She's not getting too tangled up in it, is she? No, it's not bad at all. Should we add another? Yeah, I think it'd be good to get another. That way when we want to, then we can. This is morning in Quartzsite. Collecting more rocks, making rock art, getting exercise, lower body walking, and upper body strength. Go, go, go. Now Paul's going to get in the act. Go, Paul, go. For the last couple of mornings, this is how we've been getting a lot of our steps in and upper body. And, like I said, we're doing some rock art. We're forming the word Camp Fuego. <laughs> Camp Fuego. We decided to name our camp this year. Of course, I had this in speed up. Wish we could walk that fast. Look at Paul, he's working his arms. <laughs> A rock art is finished. Here it says camp. Lee and Paul. And this is our little monument. I found this and I carried it over. Somebody made it. 
pretty cool. There was a coin underneath there. See that coin? Well, we added another coin. Our little monument. It says camp and here's Fuego. <laughs> camp Fuego. Upside down. There it is. Now here, I'm going to show you some exercises. Look at this. I've already shown the walking and the carrying the rocks. If you put your hands down on the base of an opening, you can do your triceps. And here I'm doing my biceps. I carry pink five pound weights with me at all times. Not that expensive at Walmart. I'm just doing four of each, but normally I do two sets of 12. But for time's sake, I'm just gonna show four. It's getting windy outside and the sun is up high. So I'm in my tent. <laughs> this is my this is my saving grace for being out here in quartzite. I don't care how cool it is. The sun has UV rays in it and it just can devastate. Yeah, skin, hair. So I'm in my tent, got my little buddy here. Yeah, oh, we got her some new treats. I think I heard her say meow. <laughs> we couldn't find dog treats. Trying to teach her to, um, to shake. <sighs> Been talking about rock art, right? You've seen a lot of rock art. And previously I featured that fisherman. That's old, ancient. I don't know how old it is, but it's it's like a thousand years old, I think. Uh, or long, or, or um, older than that. And that's the beginning of rock art rock art is everywhere i moved around rocks last year in my one area and you know they're still there and i moved rocks and i kind of made and there's always somebody their part so over you know a year later people can still enjoy people's rock art but we did our rock art we named our camp camp fuego oh yeah and it's it's fuego means fire i just thought it was a plan where it's campfire <laughs> okay it's campfire and we're gonna do a fire so you'll see that too let's see if we can get a better view the lighting is kind of bad over here yeah the lighting is a little weird here so sometimes in the tap but also talking about exercise right there's all kinds of ways to get exercise now one of you gals asked me about exercise. You want to get started with exercise and you were approximately my age. I've been exercising all of my life. I mean, there were periods where, yeah, I got lazy, uh, but I kind of got back into it maybe like a year or a couple years later. And these past years, I've really stuck with it. So I just, and I've done Pilates before I'm not one for, I wasn't before one for going to a gym. I like to do everything. I kind of, I'm a, I'm a self-starter and I'm a self-motivated person. And I don't have any trouble, trouble uh, motivating myself. And I like to motivate other people. So I guess that's sort of a leader, strong personality type that I am. Well, I have uh, watched videos on Pilates. I got a book on Pilates. And I've done yoga since I was 18, but I did that by getting a book. It was an older book. He was very, he was one of the first ones to really bring it into America. His name was Richard Hittleman. I bet a lot of you recognize that voice and know exactly what I'm talking about. And it was just a little book, but I would go through it and practice it. Well, I don't know if I can call what I do Pilates anymore or yoga. I tweaked it so much. There were a lot of things in yoga where you got I bring your shoulder back and you go down. No, I, I don't do that with my shoulder anymore. Um, I've, I've pulled a ligament before and I'm and a shoulder 
injury for me. And I know my dad used to get like bad shoulders, a shoulder injury. It was on his left arm too. What's up with that? Well, it can take up to two years to go away completely. I am not going to play around with my shoulders. No, I like my arms way too well. And then I, I'm careful with my wrist just because uh, I don't want to strain them. There's just certain things that I don't do anymore. But I've tweaked them and I've tweaked uh, my Pilates. And of course, when I was younger, I had ballet training. So I've incorporated those three things when I do stand up exercises. Now I do stretch and that's why I'm coming in here. I want to talk to you and I want to stretch. And so I will explain some of the stretches that I do for you. They're simple. Please don't do anything if it hurts. And um, I'll just do a disclaimer that I'm not a physical trainer. Yeah. And I'm not a physical therapist. And I'll show you what I do. I in no way encourage you to do any of this if, if it doesn't look like something you can deal with. It's not always every day because, hey, Abby, you're on camera, huh? Say hi. Ooh, look at that nose. It looks like leather, black leather. <laughs> I love that nose. Ooh. Sort of, I remember doing close-ups of gorillas when I had the Cincinnati Zoo a YouTube channel. And her nose reminds me of a... Uh, it's okay. Remind that Her nose reminds me of a gorilla nose with the black, uh, like leather look. Abby, it's okay. Somebody's just walking through. She's got to, like, be protective of me. Yeah. Okay, so. Abby, come lay down. Come. Come here. Come lay down. Over here. Come here. No, over here. Come here. Over here. Over here. There we go. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Try to do positive reinforcement for her. Hey. They're just people. They're just people walking around the courtside. She's a sweetheart. There's some people talking out there. So anyways, meow. Are you going to go meow? <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to show you the exercising. But I also am going to mention that we this was, this was a nice queen size mattress. And in the traveling process, it was in a box too. It got a hole in it. So... I don't know what happened. We blew it up and it didn't hold through the night and it has a hole in it. We've got another one coming. It should be here at the end of the week, but I'm still keeping it because it's really thick and it, there's rocks under here. It's really thick and I've got my, my um, blanket on top of it. Yeah. And when we were putting up the tent, I also, again, want to mention something else. When we were putting up the tent, we were getting rid of, rid of loose rocks. Well, uh, some of you said, oh, you need a rake. You need to rake all those rocks up. Um, this is why uh, Paul and I enjoy Plumosa BLM land. Because what has been done is they've laid down stones. Really gorgeous. Oh, there's a dog out there. Abby? Come here. Come sit down. Come sit down. She likes these. Good girl. You stay here. You you look at me. Don't look at them. Don't look. No. Shh, look at me. Good girl. Well, there's these. It's a bed of rocks. We want that. Oh yeah. And that actually, they uh they're 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 kind of down in the dirt a little bit. So it's like a carpet going on. 
I would not want to take those rocks up. We just wanted to get the loose ones up or the things with little jaggeds holding up. This is actually comfortable. I mean, it's a little bumpy, but that's why I've got this on here. And that's why we have a mattress coming so I can exercise on it. It's not really for sleeping. It's just a, um, when I, I like to come in here in the afternoon and take a nap too. So I guess it is sort of for sleeping, right? But okay, well, let's get, if Abby will let me, let me get going on. Hey, she was trying to get these. Oh, you silly dog. You're a silly dog, aren't you? Look in the mirror. Show your face. <laughs> there you go. Don't even, don't even think about it. She's almost as big as I am. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, she wanted this hand. Shake. Oh, she's doing it. Good girl. Good girl. Oh my gosh, this dessert. Did you saw it? It's on camera. It's on camera. Oh my gosh. Behavior modification. Whoop, whoop. Pavlov's dog. Salivate, salivate. <laughs> okay. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. Okay, well that was you know. Okay, you come over here and lay down so so mommy can <laughs> exercise. Okay, this is how I get started. Let me. I'm gonna put it over there so you can get a better view and I won't talk anymore. Well, for a little bit, anyways. You know me. I love to. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is a good exercise to stretch out your lower back. So I start out with this. I hold it for 10. I do not pull so hard that it hurts. I just kind of pull up just a little bit with my knee. This is pretty easy to do. I think everybody should do this at least once a day to keep their back stretched out. And then I use both knees up and kind of curl up in a ball, stretches out the lower back. Then I put my legs up. This is called the moonwalk. I straighten my legs, flex my feet, and now I'm rotating my ankles, stretching my inner thighs. I don't recommend this if you have a bad back. But I've stretched out all my life, so I don't recommend this at all if you have a bad back at all. And bring it down. Now this is for the stomach. I usually hold this for 10, but I'm going a little faster for filming purposes. And this is um, a stomach exercise that I do. I found this online once, and I liked the looks of it. Now, this is what you'd want to do, just stomach crunches, if you're not overly in shape yet. This is sort of a yoga exercise. I flex my feet. And come down, hold it for 10. This is a good stretch for your knees and your hips. But only go down as far as you can go if you even want to do it at all. Now I'm stretching my neck. Keeps the neck tight. Keeps that chicken neck at bay. Now, this is something, um, you're not going to be able to do this yet all the way down. It's just that I've been stretching most of my life. And I hold it for 10. A little bit more ballet stretches for the stomach, the sides, the obliques. Now I'm going to stretch upward on my back, 
Do not do this all the way up. I can go up, but only go just a little ways. And what this does actually is it stretches the stomach and the back. I usually do that twice. And then this one is a good stretch for your quads. And it massages your intestines too because your stomach is being pressed against the ground. And now I'm just going to stretch my back out. So the stretching that I do is very, very simple. But I do hold all my stretches for 10. Well, Abby fell asleep, didn't she? Now, since I'm on this position, I'm going to do some female push-ups. Stretch out my back. Okay, now I'm going to stand up. Here's where I'm just warming up my arms. And a lot of times I do this first. Or sometimes after I stretch it, you know, it varies. But I like to stretch out my hands, keep my hands limber, my joints, my wrist. Yeah. My neck. I don't stretch my neck back too much. I'm just kind of going around till, and then going back around the other way. Stretch out my neck. Now my shoulders, my shoulders stretched out. I go the other way. This feels really good for the back of my legs to stretch out. Okay, now this is for the butt, <laughs> the gluteus maximus. This keeps it tight, gives you a good looking behind. Paul got a really nice fire going. It's small because we're not gonna stay up too late. I like to get to bed a little bit early so that I can get up early. But this is a nice fire and it was nice to just see it. This is our first fire. It's been like a week and a couple days since we've been in Quartzsite. So I wanna ask you all to please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and following me and being loyal to my channel. Thank you so much, everybody. Love you.